What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create the Sin City effect as you guys can see on the car So that's going to be really really awesome, make sure to smash that like button down below and I would say let's get started Alright guys, so I hope you guys will enjoy this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create the Sin City effect like this That's going to be really cool, make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started <laughs> Alright guys, as you can see we are in Vegas Pro 15 and I'm going to show you guys, like I said in the beginning of the, of the video, in the intro, I'm going to show you guys how to create this awesome Sin City effect and for the people who don't know what the Sin City effect is, is basically uh, a video where only one color is used and the rest is black and white. So that's going to be a really really cool effect, so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. So as you can see this is the clip that I'm going to use because there is a lot of color in this, I have a nice uh, image of a street I also have a red car now what we're gonna do in this clip is we're gonna make only the car have the color and the rest of it is gonna be black and white so what we're gonna do in order to do that is we're gonna go to the video effects tab pretty straightforward and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the color corrector this one and we're gonna pick the secondary one that's really important so click on there then we're gonna pick the default one we're gonna drag that on top of our clip and what we're gonna do then is it's really gonna be really important you want to go to the tab custom now what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna make sure that we'll pick the color that we want to have in the screen so we're gonna click on this little pencil we're gonna pick the color red obviously now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on invert mask Put the low to zero, the high on maximum, and right here at the limit saturation, the low on zero, the high on maximum, and you want to mess around with the saturation. Now as you can see, if we bring down the saturation, it's going to take away every single color. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to mess around with the bottom markers, as you can see, until it comes back. So we're going to go ahead and mess with those uh, until the, the screen looks really legit. So I'm going to just go ahead and keep dragging this down until it matches. And as you can see right here, the color is starting to uh, disappear on the background. So we will only have, obviously, uh, the red color. So the only thing we need to do, guys, is mess around with the bottom markers until it looks really, really solid. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here, mess around with the center, and I'm just going to go ahead and keep messing around with it until the red is fully in the screen. So what we, that's basically the whole point of it. You just want to go ahead and adjust those markers until the background is completely black and white and then also the car has only the color as you can see And boom guys, this is basically how simple it is. Now the car is only red and the background is black and white. So now let's say that we want to do this with another clip, let's say with my yellow jacket. I'm gonna go to the folder, I'm gonna drag in that footage real quick. Which is going to be this clip obviously, so we're gonna do the exact same. Go to the color corrector, the secondary, drag the default one on top of the clip. Then what we're gonna do is go to custom, to play Take this little pencil icon, we cl click on a nice yellow part of the of the jacket. Then we're gonna just click on invert mask, bring down the saturation, and just mess around with the markers until it looks legit. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep messing around with it until the jacket is only yellow in into the entire screen. And I'm gonna just go ahead, and there's nothing much more to do it to, guys, because that's the only thing. Mess around with these. Uh, little sliders and obviously it's going to be pretty straightforward and not really that difficult It is just finding that sweet spot as you can see So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep putting the saturation completely down so it's black and white But then mess around with the center with the hue with the width obviously just to make the yellow uh, Jacket, you know have its color completely back So I'm gonna go and keep doing that and then I'll hope to and then I'm hoping that it will work completely. So that's what I'm going to keep doing on this. I'm gonna just go ahead and put some music underneath it and you guys will see how it all works.
Alright guys, so I just kept messing around with the markers as you can see and now the jacket is completely yellow and this is how to do it guys. So as you guys can see, this is basically how to actually, you know, do a Sin City effect. It's going to be pretty straightforward, so that's how awesome it looks and that's how to do it. So thank you for watching, thank you for watching this really, you know, not really that long video, but this is just a really simple thing. Just apply the secondary color corrector on it, mess with the markers until your colors are standing out. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new video and also on Monday with the reveal of the Elgato HG60S giveaway winner. So make sure to stay tuned, keep your eyes and ears open on the sub boxes as well. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Just Alex Halford.